Sunday. And in that, Dublin met Western representatives Ross Common and they found themselves involved in a real cliffhanger. Now Clancy with the kick. Would have suited a left footed kicker. Vinnie Murphy trying to keep it in play. Feeding it back to Kieran Duff. Oh! Could so easily have been a Dublin goal. It lands at the top of the netting on the side's level yet again. Michael Donlon. Vincent Glennon. Donlon once again. Remember the sides are level. And it's finally Seamus Galloran. That's his first point. And what an invaluable one it might well prove to be yet. McKennedy. Kick towards Vinnie Murphy. Touched away, however, by Seamus Kalor and a solid challenge by Ray Holland. On towards Paul, Car Paul Clark. Here's Joe McNally trying, trying to get one of those two lead points back, and he's done exactly that. Junior McManus. Paul Hickey. Seamus Kaloran. Ross Common needing a score from this attack. They've missed a couple of late. produced exactly what they require his second point of the afternoon Tommy Carr Dublin in flying form just now with Kieran Duff can they finish off with a score Duff oh it's a brilliant save it's gone over the bar a brilliant save by Paul Scolton well, you'll not see a better strike and go like that anywhere. And what a super save, a stunt and flicked it over the crossbar. And there's a lead of just a point once again for Ross Common. Dave Foran trying to get onto it with Tommy Carr. Foran's on the ground, Carr penetratingly forward. Stopped, however, by Junior McManus and a free in for Dublin. Will this be the equaliser? Well, the ground, I think, here is still buzzing after that super save by Paul Staunton. Tommy Carr opting to take the free from the hand. High, truly, and over the bar. The equaliser comes from Tommy Carr, the Dublin captain, and the referee has blown up, and the sides finish on level terms. It's Dublin 111, Roscommon 14 points, and it goes to extra time. Here's Porik McNeil, Killoran, from Paul Early, for Vincent Glennon. Looking for the opening score, here's Tony McManus, the goalkeeper's out, a goal! Tony McManus scores in the opening minute of extra time. When he was fed that ball by Vincent Glennon, he took it round the goalkeeper and slotted it clean into the back of the net. What Roscommon couldn't do in normal time, they've done in extra time. Driven to midfield towards Paul Early. Now Vincent Glennon once again. He really has been a very useful substitution. He's been involved in the thick of the action since coming in. Tommy, or Michael Donlan rather. Paul Early with a good resourceful run from midfield, getting it right and putting it over the bar. Paul Early has contributed three points and Roscommon has opened up a goal and a point lead. Paul Early. This has been a really good spell for the Roscommon forward line in particular as Michael Donnellan feeds it back for Paul Early. Outside to Tony McManus. This time it's a little chip and it's another score, a point. Well, it's never been less than interesting and that's one of the highest accolades one can pay this clash. Joe McNally, away to Keith Barr, going it on his own, looking for a second Dublin point in extra time, and that he's done. So now it's 113 to 117. Vincent Glennon. It's coming with a good useful opportunity in this match to try out much of their panel. And looking a useful side, Paul Early, Owen McManus. Here's McManus again, an unpredictable talent, getting it into Tony McManus, his club mate. Another goal! Tony McManus with a second goal. Owen McManus.
McManister, one who fed it for him from the kick out. Good catch, good delivery. And McManus has always hit his head and slotted it wide of the goalkeeper. Paul Clark in towards Joe McNally, held with confidence and poise by Pat Dury. Ross Common playing superbly well just now. Here's Vincent Glennon. The high catch by Owen McManus fails to materialise. Paul Curry nipping in. Joe McNally challenging the goalkeeper and he's got a goal. Joe McNally, the fullback, had left it to McNally to tussle with the goalkeeper and McNally getting that vital final touch. Now Paul Curran. Towards Joe McNally. Joe McNally. Running on. Keith Barr. Fisting it across dangerously. And there's another one by Niall Clancy. Clancy with another goal. Roscommon protesting that that ball might have been inside the small square, but when it came across, Clancy made the most of it. Well, despite... Clock. And then Cork the holders take on Mead. That starts at half past three.